Hello guys, today we are going to be learning how to play Emperor's New Clothes by Panic at the Disco on acoustic guitar. Panic at the Disco, yes! I'm super excited for this song if you couldn't tell. It's so easy for beginners because there's only three chords and they're pretty much the easiest chords in the world. If you already know the chords E minor, C and A minor on guitar, you can skip ahead now, but if not, I'm gonna show y'all. For the first chord, E minor, you're gonna put your ring finger on the fourth string second fret and your middle finger on the fifth string second fret. For the C chord, you're gonna put your ring finger on the fifth string third fret, your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and then your pointer finger on the second string first fret. And you're not gonna play the top string. You're just gonna leave that one alone and play the bottom five strings. On the A minor chord, you're gonna put your ring finger on the third string second fret, your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and then your pointer finger on the second string first fret. And those are the only three chords that you need for this song. As you can see, they're super easy, no bar chords at all. Now I am using a capo on the second fret for this tutorial. If you wanna play with the original key, don't use any capo at all, just have this thing off, but you're still gonna use the exact same chords that I use with the capo on. All right, so for the verse progression, you pretty much stay on E minor the entire time, except for in the middle of the verse, there's a C and an A minor thrown in there for four beats each. Four beats on the C and four beats on the A minor Minor, and then you go right back to E minor. And your pre-chorus is E minor as well. So you'll go from the verse, which is ending on E minor, into the pre-chorus, and you'll just stay on E minor. I will give you an example of what that looks like. The first strumming pattern that I recommend is just simply all down strums, which will work really well if you're a beginner. The intro starts on E minor and goes straight into the verse, which is also E minor. So the finders, keepers, losers, weepers, that's the intro. It's just E minor and you strum that and then you go into the verse which is Welcome to the end of era The spice has melted back to life Took my time and served my sentence Dress me up and watch me die You can just do down strums for four beats each So one, two, three, four One, two, three, four Up until you get to the part where you change to the C So it's E minor on Dress me up and watch me die If it feels good tastes good, must be mine. So as you can see, I'm going from the E minor, holding that for four beats to the C, hold it for four beats, and then the A minor, which will hold for four beats and then go straight back to the E minor. We're doing this all in segments of four beats each. So the last part of the chorus, after you do the C for four beats, the A minor, and then you go back to the E minor. Dynasty decapitated, you just might see a ghost tonight. The pre-chorus, you also stay on E minor and you can strum that single down strums if you want. I will give you a little bit more complicated strumming patterns in a little bit. Going from the end of verse one, you're strumming that E minor and you go straight into the pre-chorus strum. And if you don't know now, you know I'm taking back the end of the chorus. Yeah, the progression for the chorus is C, A minor, E minor. You're going to hold C for four beats, A minor for four beats, and then E minor you're going to do for eight beats. Let me show you how that works with all down strums. So after the pre-chorus, don't know now you know I'm taking back the crown. I'm all dressed up and naked. See what's mine and take it. And then you just follow that progression for the rest of the chorus. In verse two is the same as verse one. What you're going to do is hold that E minor for 16 beats, then you're going to go to the C, hold it for four, A minor for four, and go back to the E minor into the pre-chorus, and then repeat the progression for the chorus. So it's pretty simple, and I'm also going to list everything in the description. That way, if what I'm saying seems kind of everywhere, you can always look, and there's gonna be a list there of what chord to play at what point in the song. For the bridge, there's not really a chord. You can use the E minor, that's what I do. It's really just open to your interpretation of the song. It might look something like this if you're on E minor. Mortal kings are ruling castles, welcome to my world of fun. Liars settle into sockets, flip the switch and watch them run. And I'm also just using muted down strums there, which I also recommend as a second strumming pattern for this song. You can use it for the verses and or the chorus if you want to. It's whatever you want to do. Let me show you with the verses how muted down strums would work. Starting on the E minor. Welcome to the end of eras. Ice has melted back to life. Another 
Another strumming pattern that works really well with this song is down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Sped up a little bit. Welcome to the end of eras. Ice is melting back to life. Turn my time and send my sentence. Stress me up and watch me die. If it feels good, tastes good, must be mine. There you go. And that one is a little bit more difficult just because it has the up mute in there, but you're just going up and then putting your palm on the strings while you strum down. So if you can get a hang of that, that's a really fun strumming pattern to do. If not, down strums are completely fine. You can do that. Another strumming pattern that you can use is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And this is a fun one to use with the chorus. The ground, so close I can say stay. This song is so fun to play and I love it because it's Panic at the Disco, obviously. I hope that you guys learned something from this tutorial and that you really go practice this song and learn it. Even if the strumming patterns get complicated if you're trying to move past the down strums and get to more of the ups and the mutes in there, just keep practicing. Don't get discouraged because you can do it and this is a perfect song to practice those more advanced strumming patterns. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and bell me. That way you can know whenever I upload new guitar tutorials in the future. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and be a good person. I love you. Bye.